Top 8 Russian Robot Inventions If life in Russia seems far removed from drones, smart assistants, and robotic vacuum cleaners, we have news for you. Russian robotics and robots are alive and kicking. They disinfect buildings, deliver parcels, put out fires, work the land, and serve the public. Keep watching! Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we will be looking at some of the top Russian robot inventions in 2022. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started! Number 8. Robots for Disinfection and Temperature Measurement Robotics firm Promobot, based in the Ural city of Perm, has created several robots of particular relevance in these pandemic hit times. Remote temperature measurement stations, a robot disinfector, and a consultant robot for medical institutions, which can measure temperature and other vital signs. Promobot Thermocontrol is an autonomous terminal for non-contact temperature measurement in high footfall areas. The measurement takes no more than 5 seconds and is accurate to within 0.2 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the Scorpion disinfector robot looks like a small tank. It is controlled remotely using ultrasonic sensors and the GPS GLONASS navigation systems to overcome obstacles, such as stairs and curbs. The robot is equipped with a cistern containing a disinfectant liquid and a spray device. Number 7. Courier Drones Russian company Copter Express Technologies, or COEX, develops unpiloted aerial vehicles, including for delivery of small cargo instead of human couriers. For example, the COEX Pelican Mini Quadcopter is capable of delivering a parcel weighing up to 2 kilograms. Its top speed is 75 kilometers per hour, with a delivery range of 5 kilometers. Not bad at all, eh? Number 6. Agrobot Agrobot is not just a robot, but an entire autopilot system for agricultural machinery, which automates many farming tasks, making the process faster and more focused, eliminating the human factor. Aurora Robotics Creation is able to cultivate lands in remote areas and harsh climates, can operate at night and in smoke or fog, and is not afraid of cold weather or precipitation. Such systems herald the era of precision farming. To robot eyes, Fields are not uniform. Different zones need different amounts of fertilization. Number 5. Robot for Extinguishing Oil and Gas Gushers The Royn RTPM heavy hydraulic robot, built by Integros, is designed to extinguish oil and gas gushers and blowouts. Any accident at a well can easily turn into an environmental disaster and pose a huge risk to emergency response teams. The RTPM keeps humans well away from the danger zone and can extinguish a blaze at a distance of 1.5 kilometers. The Russian company has near-term plans to unveil its already patented invention on the Middle East market. Number 4. Robot for Public Spaces Kiki is a next-generation interactive mobile service robot, able to hold a conversation with a person using a self-learning neural network and mimic human gestures. The robot has 17 degrees of freedom. In robotics, this means movable joints, and boasts a wide range of facial expressions and gestures. It can rotate its neck and body, and sensitive zones on the body react to touch. Kiki's main task is to attract attention. Plus, it can place orders, take payments, and converse with human clients. Number 3. Fedor A Russian humanoid robot was well on its way to the International Space Station, or ISS, after blasting off on a 10-day mission to support the astronauts on board back in 2019. Known as FEDOR, which stands for Final Experimental Demonstration Object Research, the Skybot F-850 became the first humanoid robot to be sent to space by Russia after it was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. FEDOR, which is the size of an adult and can emulate movements of the human body, was strapped into a specially adapted pilot seat for the journey, with a small Russian flag in hand. Let's go, let's go, the robot was heard saying during the launch, repeating the famous phrase used by the first man in space, Yuri Gagarin. FEDOR also has Instagram and Twitter accounts, with posts saying it is learning new skills, such as opening a bottle of water. In the station, it will try those manual skills in very low gravity. The robot is described as an assistant to the ISS crew on his Twitter page, which has 4,600 followers. Assuring his fans he was on his way to the ISS without any hitches following the liftoff, 
Fedor tweeted, everything is normal, a few hours into his flight. Though a first for Russia, Fedor's journey does not mark an inaugural passage for a robot into space. In 2011, NASA sent up Robonaut 2, a humanoid robot developed with General Motors that had a similar aim of working in high-risk environments. Number 2. Uran 9 Uran 9 is a Caterpillar remote-controlled combat vehicle which belongs to the category of UCCG, Unmanned Combat Ground Vehicle, Ground-Based Combat Vehicles. Uran 9 is not intended to replace the basic battle tanks, T-90 and T-14 Armada, but will be used to support fire special forces and remote intelligence. Its mass is 10 tons. In the basic version, Uran 9 is equipped with a 30mm automatic cannon 2A72, a 7.62mm machine gun, and 10 guided missiles. The rate of fire of the gun is 350 to 400 rounds per minute. Uran 9 can fire anti-tank missiles 9S120 Attacka, four missiles in the base, and anti-aircraft missiles 9K33 Igla, four units. Incorporating Attacka missiles allows the machine to fight and destroy the most modern battle tanks from a distance of 8,000 meters. The robot is also equipped with a laser control system. However, the robotic platform can be used to install a variety of weapon systems. Sensor equipment meets the requirements of modern armored personnel carriers. There are temperature sensors, laser rangefinder, as well as day and night cameras. Systems can automatically detect, recognize, and track the target. The robotic complex consists of two Uran 9 military vehicles, a truck for the transportation, and a mobile control post. Uranus 9 is intended for armed inspection and fire support of infantry, as well as anti terrorist units. The need for widespread introduction of flying drones in the Russian Federation was seriously considered after the August 2008 war. Interest in ground robotics was lower and limited to small robots for parts of radiation, chemical, and biological protection. Significantly intensified work only after the appointment in 2012, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. Prior to that, it was the Ministry of Emergency Situations led by him who was the leader among the law enforcement agencies on the introduction of robotics. It was from the Ministry of Emergency Situations that the most famous of their heavy military robots, Uran 6 and Uran 14, came to the army. But engineering and sapper engineering of this kind is now difficult for anyone to surprise. Much more interesting is the ongoing development of real combat robots intended for direct participation in battles. Russia was among the states that not only have operating models in the troops, but they have managed to get a real combat experience of their use. Number 1. Marker Russia recently announced that it had completed research on its experimental marker robot combat vehicle. The machine, designed from the start as a testbed for future tools and technologies, was never designed for combat, but machines based on its features will be. In a Russian military, modernizing and mobilizing for war, the marker program was a bet placed on the future of Russian robotics, one in which the biggest dividends will be realized years from now. Marker is an uncrewed ground vehicle, or UGV, similar in form if not armament to a tank. And, like a tank, it has a tracked platform, onto which a range of sensors and weapons can be added. These include a turret with machine guns and anti-tank missiles, as well as a case that can launch drones. Built by Android Technologies for the Advanced Research Foundation, Russia's DARPA analog, the marker has been a showcase vehicle in demonstrations since at least 2019. In that 2019 demonstration, the marker's turret followed the movements of an infantry spotter's rifle scope, suggesting a human could aim the vehicle's weapon remotely. Even flashier, the marker moved in formation alongside 15 smaller quadcopter drones. We have completed the work on the marker, said Yevgeny Dudorov, head of Android Technologies, according to recent reporting by state-owned news agency RAA Novosti. As part of it, we have worked out a number of technologies, but most importantly, the technology of autonomous group interaction of ground-based robotic devices. The marker, from the start, has been a tool to test and explore military operations in the safety of controlled field exercises. It's a way to scope out what might be possible if everything aligns the right way on a future battlefield. This is Russia's most visible R&D project involving ground autonomy, swarm development, ground robot and drone teaming, and manned-unmanned teaming. 
Marker is also a testbed for military AI solutions such as machine vision, image recognition, and natural language processing, says Samuel Bendit, an analyst at the Center for Naval Analysis and adjunct senior fellow at the Center for New American Security. With that, we end this video. Consider subscribing to join in on all the future fun.